What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today we're going to be continuing to talk about that exclusive footage. I know a lot of people have said that they now hate the word exclusive footage because it was only shown to the audience at D23 and not to the public. But today we'll continue to talk about that exclusive footage and tell you exactly what was shown exclusively at D23. Today we're going to be talking about the Echo footage that they showed, we're going to be talking about Daredevil, Kingpin, and when Daredevil might actually show up in She-Hulk. I know everybody's been waiting, we haven't seen him yet. And if you're looking to hear about what they showed for Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and Loki 2 footage, you can check out the videos I did yesterday and the day before. And of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. So Echo is kind of going to be taking place at two different points in time during the series. They did confirm that it is indeed going to be an origin story, but at the same time, it is going to take place after the events of Hawkeye, where we were introduced to Echo. So I'm assuming it's going to be like one of those shows that kind of do flashbacks to different points back in time. Maybe kind of like the Eternals, but hopefully a bit more organized. Because obviously we have to talk about what happened after Hawkeye, especially with Kingpin. And if you have not seen the Hawkeye series and you are trying to avoid spoilers, we're about to get into them. Well, one, I guess I talked about already, but if you haven't heard that Kingpin is now in the MCU, then I would be really, really shocked. Throughout the Hawkeye series, Maya was seen as the leader of the tracksuit mafia. And then, of course, it was revealed that Kingpin was her boss. It was also revealed that Kate's mother was working for Kingpin the entire time as well. Not necessarily by choice, but she was. Now, at the time, Kingpin was kind of like Maya's adopted father. Hawkeye killed Maya's real father when she was younger, and since Kingpin had always been around even when Maya's father was alive since she was a baby, he kind of just took her in as her father. However, Maya slash Echo eventually learned that it was actually Kingpin's fault why her father died. So of course then Maya sought answers from him, and then she sought revenge. And ultimately, by the end of the series, she got that revenge, as the last shot that we saw of Kingpin was him getting shot in the face by Maya. Now everybody assumed that he was dead, but of course, this was taken directly from the comics. Well, almost. In the comics, he actually gets shot in both eyes, but in the MCU, it looks like he only gets shot in one. We'll get to that in just a bit. Regardless, Kingpin is going to be the main villain of the Echo series, and then he's going to go into the Daredevil series, which we'll talk about right after we go over the Echo footage. The Echo footage shown at D23 starts with Echo on her motorcycle, while we hear an old man providing context over her trek. He begins by explaining, our ancestors were powerful. While he says this, the scene cuts to a flashback of an indigenous tribe. We then hear the voice say, their strength echoes through you. And this could definitely be where Maya got her codename Echo. In fact, I'm assuming it is. Now we eventually see the person of whom the voice belongs to. It's a character played by Graham Greene. It's one of Echo's elders and could perhaps be her grandfather. It is not made entirely clear who this is during the footage that was shown but he gives her a prosthetic leg with decorations on it that mean warrior. She signs to him that she needs to go home. From here, there are some quick action scenes and they're intercut with clips of indigenous people. And then the teaser ends with Kingpin. We see him with a bandage on one of his eyes and he looks at Maya and he says, it's been a long time. And that was the footage that was shown for Echo at D23. Now, like I said, it's a little bit different from the comics because it appears that Kingpin only has a bandage and only got shot on one eye, not both. Now, also from some clips of the trailer, it does seem like Maya could have some sort of indigenous power from her ancestors, as it did look like there was some type of magic involved in some way, shape, or form. So that'll definitely be really, really cool to see, and it's definitely going to explore the indigenous background and roots of the character. Now, mixed in with all of that is going to be the story of Kingpin, and of course, Daredevil is going to be in Echo as well. In fact, during the D23 presentation, something that was really cool that happened was when the cast came out for the Echo series, eventually Vincent D'Onofrio came out, of course, because he's playing Kingpin, but when the rest of the cast got off of the stage, he stayed on, and then Charlie Cox came out to talk about Daredevil Born Again, thus confirming what we basically already knew, 
Kingpin is going to be the main villain of Daredevil Born Again. And speaking of that title, it's actually quite interesting. This may not be a continuation of the Daredevil series on Netflix. As Charlie Cox himself a couple of days ago came out and basically said, they're starting fresh, they're starting anew. Here's what he said in a recent interview with Extra, and Kevin Feige was there as well. He said, it's a season one, not a season four. So it's a whole new thing, which I think is the way to go. If you're going to do it again, do it differently. So this is not a season four like it's kind of been rumored to be, but of course D23 showed us how rumors go, of course, but it kind of seems like it's a reboot. He calls it a brand new thing, but also check this out. Perhaps Charlie Cox might not actually be totally right about that because when he was asked about the plot of Daredevil Born Again, this is what he said. I haven't seen a script. My feeling is based on the title Born Again. I think that the sense is it is a new beginning. It is going to be different. It is going to be totally different. It is going to be new stories and new ideas. So Charlie, in a sense, is claiming that he doesn't actually know. He's just assuming based off of the title Born Again, which does indeed make sense. But even today, there are some insiders stating that it is indeed going to be a continuation of the Netflix Daredevil series. The insider account The Watcher recently said, is Born Again season four of Daredevil? No. Did the events of the first three seasons happen? Of course. I'm not sure why the idea of a soft reboot is so mind-bending to some of y'all. The Suicide Squad by James Gunn is not a sequel to the 2016 film. However, the first film clearly still happened. Expect something similar here. And that makes sense. It's a soft reboot, not a full reboot. So expect a lot of new stuff with a little bit of old stuff in there as well. Maybe some hints, some nods, maybe some Easter eggs to the old Netflix series, which is honestly, I think, going to be pretty cool. So of course, Daredevil will be in his own series, Born Again. He's also going to be in the Echo series, but of course he will be appearing in She-Hulk as well. And a lot of people have been asking me, when exactly does he appear? Well, Marvel Studios five days ago gave us a mid-season sneak peek, and I have to say, sadly, it doesn't look like Matt Murdock is going to be showing up in the next episode of She-Hulk. It seems like the next episode of She-Hulk is really going to focus on Titania, and the fact that she's suing Jennifer Walters over the name She-Hulk, which apparently Titania trademarked. In this mid-season preview, we see plenty of shots of Titania at a specific event that Jennifer Walters is also at, and we see the two of them fighting. I'm presuming that in tonight's episode, episode 5, this is primarily what we are going to see. I do believe that Daredevil will come though in episode 6 and possibly be teased at the end of this episode, episode 5. I will say it does look like Daredevil is going to be pretty dang awesome in She-Hulk. We even see a scene of him in this taking off into the sky using some type of jetpack system. Not sure what they'll do in the MCU as far as how he got this technology. Could it possibly be Tony Stark's technology? Could he have made it himself? I'm excited to see where this story goes. So maybe we'll get it tonight. Maybe we'll get a teaser for Daredevil in tonight's episode of She-Hulk, but I'm expecting him to really come into play in episode six. But the great news is he'll be returning in Echo and then he'll be getting his own series. So we have plenty of Daredevil to come. Echo also looks like it's going to be pretty dang good with Kingpin being back in it as well. And I'm really excited to see how She-Hulk plays out. So let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news and theories. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.